For centuries, humanity saw the cosmos through the lens of Aristotle and Ptolemy. Earth sat motionless at the center, encircled by perfect celestial spheres. The church enforced this geocentric dogma, punishing dissent. Scholars relied on ancient texts, not observation, to explain nature. This rigid system left no room for questioning, until Galileo turned his telescope skyward. In 1610, Galileo's improved telescope revealed Jupiter's four moons orbiting another world, a direct challenge to Earth's cosmic centrality. His sketches of lunar craters and sunspots proved the heavens were imperfect, contradicting Aristotle. Publishing the Starry Messenger, he declared, Nature's truths are written in mathematics. Yet the church branded his findings heresy, setting the stage for a historic confrontation. In 1633, the Inquisition forced Galileo to kneel and recant his support for heliocentrism. Under threat of torture, he famously whispered, and yet it moves. Placed under house arrest, he secretly wrote two new sciences, founding modern physics. His ordeal exposed the peril of challenging dogma, but also ignited a fire. Across Europe, thinkers began questioning, if the church erred about the cosmos, what else might be wrong? By 1687, Isaac Newton unified Galileo's physics with Kepler's planetary motions in Principia Mathematica. His universal law of gravity explained both falling apples and orbiting moons with elegant mathematics. The cosmos, once governed by divine whim, now obeyed predictable laws. We stand on the shoulders of giants, Newton wrote, acknowledging Galileo's courage even as he worked cautiously to avoid his predecessor's fate. The Royal Society, founded in 1660, became a sanctuary for free inquiry. Telescopes and prisms replaced ancient texts as tools of truth. Galileo's empiricism and Newton's laws birthed modern science, a system self-correcting through evidence. Today, the James Webb Space Telescope traces its lineage to Galileo's crude spyglass, proving their revolution never ended. As Newton wrote, to explain all nature is too difficult a task for any one age.